coming straight from the belly of the beast that's in the back of your ear. With covered shit that's got you clapping your real and panic and fear is damaging. Hello guys and welcome to the second match of the United Kingdom Tournament and well we're going right into it here we have Will Ospreay going against Mark Andrews and like I've been saying this is going to be my favorite match of the first round these two high flyers will be going at it and they will be going at it for a chance to be going against Tyre Bate in the second round and well Coming out first, the first high fire is going to be is the aerial assassin, Will Ospreay. Well, this man picked up a very important victory during the debut, really, of the United Kingdom tournament members. They were all in that big six man tag team match, and well. Will Ospreay did what he needed to do. He hit his aerial assassination on Mark Andrews, otherwise also known as Mandrews, in the main event of Raw to pin him. If he can do that again here tonight, he will be moving on to go against Tyra Bate. But that is asking what is well. Here comes his opponent. Here comes Mark Andrews. Well, like I was saying, these guys, they're both of these guys are big high flyers here, and well, you can see it on Mark Andrews' tight series saying it's time to fly. He's got an airplane right on his tights there. It is always time to fly. Well, we are about to get this match underway, and like I said, this is more was projected to me as my favorite match of this tournament. I mean, this going into it, these two high flyers. When you think of a match, you think of that high intense pace of those high flyers of these cruiserweights here, and I feel like this is going to be the match you do not want to miss. Let's get it started here. And well, personally, I gotta go with the man that has the momentum. I'm gonna have to go for Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay picked up the victory, and he didn't do it in just a way of just really just getting the victory. He got it by pinning the man he was gonna be going against in the tournament. He pinned Mark Andrews, so he knows how to pin him. He knows if he can hit that aerial assassination yet again, he can take away Mark Andrews. But right now, Mark Andrews the early one in the beginning of this matchup taking the early advantage but as I say that commentary's curse Will Ospreay showing off his aerial assault here but again Mark Andrews fighting back here and Mark Andrews continuing on that it was a big kick and now an uh, uppercut there but now missing the knee there just missed, judged it, and now going after the arm of Will Spray. Make sure to continue to make sure Will does not get any sort of advantage from his mistake there. And look at this more high flying by Mark Andrews, but missed the mark yet again. That is two miscues here by Mark Andrews. Will Spray looking to continue on him here with a big suplex. Taking out Mark Andrews and now looking to continue on him, taking out the arm. Oh, man, of course, I mean, you've seen it here. He's been vigorously on the arm. And now Will Ospreay with a miscue of his own. He did not mis well, really miscalculated there. And Will really looking to continue on him here. But no, not going to be able to continue on him. Dropping it down there. Attacking the arm. These guys really focusing on each other's arms here. But look at this. Look at the strength of Will. <laughs> Taking him down. You know, I'm talking about these guys. These cruiserweights are about to high fly. And I forget about the strength. That's two suplexes here by Will. And then that big power bomb. Will is pretty, really showing off the power game here against Mark Andrews. Something I don't think... Mark would have been preparing for. He would have been preparing for this really 
aerial assault that he's been doing very well against so far, but this big strength assault by Will really shaking up Mark Andrews and now going for some mission, really wrenching on that back there, really making it possible for him to get out there, but no, able to get out. And Will is looking to continue as he was in the corner, but able to block him with a big DDT. Oh, what's Mark thinking of here? Maybe thinking about a step up in the carry there, and there it is, a sparkling witch. Oh, but he is not done. Look at that high flying! Will Ospreay thought he would have him scattered, was going out of the way, but Mark Andrews able to land that knee on the back of Will Ospreay's head. But still, Mark Andrews did take a bit of a spill there, going face first towards the mat after hitting the knee, not exactly what he was planning on doing, but still able to hit the mark indeed, and taking him down there as Will fighting back. And now a cover, one, no, only a one count here. Will's got to think of something to do. He's really got to hit that aerial assassination if he wants to be able to pin a man like Mark Andrews. And now tossing him over the ropes and taking him down. And if this was the Royal Rumble on the 21st of May, he would have been eliminated there. But of course, the winner of this tournament will be going against Morgan Wolf at the Warren Rumble. And we'll take more games. I thought maybe he was going to try to prepare for some high flying action. And it looks like he hesitated, waited too long. Will Ospreay may be going out for some aerial assassination. Going for the cover one, two, three. Big Match Sean saying it was only a two count. My goodness. Yeah, that had to have been a 2.999. That looked like a three count, but Big Match John telling us no, it was only a two. How Mark Andrews was able to kick out of aerial assassination this time, I do not know. But Will not done with the high flying hand, a big drop kick there. What is he thinking up here? And a big flip there by Will Ospreay. Has him in the center of the ring. Could he be thinking about going high flying? No, he's going to try and pick up Mark, but Mark had him scout with a big Hurricane Rana. Now going for a cover in his own here. One, two. No, not even a two count there. And now a big drop kick by Mark Andrews. Mark going to be playing to the fans here. Now what's Mark going to go for you? No, it's going to go for a big kick. Missed the big kick. Will had him scouted. But then the big sums up flip and cutting open Mark Andrews. And this could not end out well for Mark here. Now going for it, and Ariel assassination two times, but his head was under the ropes. Big Mesh John was able to catch it, and it was left to not even a one count. When, and again, was trying to go for more high flying, wasn't able to get him. Mark had him scouted. But Will is not done. He is not done with the top rope. But saying that, Mark had him scouted. And now a big cross body. We've seen two aerial assassinations. One with a kick out at 2.9. And a third one. Or sorry, the second one. With a rope break. How much more can Mark Andrews take? <coughs> he has been cut open. Two aerial, uh, no, aerial assassinations. I don't think there's much more Mark can take before he has taken a Will Ospreay dominating most of this matchup. Not to say Mark Andrews didn't have his moments, but right now it seems to be all Will Ospreay, but Mark Andrews trying to take back control of this matchup. And there he 
he goes attacking that army and again he's been re attacking that army could he be thinking about a submission as a real barrel stunner right there now fist in the air he thinks this he may have this match won but he's gonna go for a high flying move of his own could he be going for his own sort of aerial assassination and look at that the big flip and this could be a one two three and Mark Andrews able to escape here with a victory knocking out Will Ospreay and well so far here I think I may be ready I mean these guys put on one heck of a matchup Mark Andrews Will Ospreay, these two high fires really gave it their all. I'm sorry to hear though, Will Ospreay has been eliminated by Mark Andrews, and Mark Andrews will be going against Tyler Bate in the next round. Our next matchup will be Damian Hunter going against Lewis Bourne. Those are two of our own grown talent. We'll see if they do in the United Kingdom match. But this was a great match by these two guys here. Will Ospreay, Mark Andrews. Will maybe eliminate for now, but I hope we see him in the future of GWF Raw.